Hi, and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm on the other side of the camera as I'm sharing with you the February monthly tray I have assembled here. So yeah, I will quickly go through each and every one of these perfumes. So if you're curious, keep on watching. Bara Onda by Nazamato. It's made by Alessandro Gutieri, which is an amazing mastermind and a rebel in the industry. I love most of his fragrances, uh, Narcotic V, um, Nudi Floral, Black Afghano, and Baronda is no exception. It will really surprise you. Um, this is such deep scent. So in the opening it smells like a hyper-realistic whiskey barrel and then notes uh, such as rose, caramel, woods start to appear. I also smell sandalwood and something creamy like a coconut milk. Very potent, strong perfume which projects like crazy. Baronda is a very sensual fragrance. It envelopes you in this molecular cloud. You will be able to smell yourself all day long and people will comment on your fragrance. Um, guaranteed. So, Baronda by Nazamato. Next on my tray is Mantal Oud Edition. Fruity leather perfume. The leather here is balsamic, smoky, uh, sweet. It feels almost like a liquidized leather with nuances of rose, wood, incense. Also, wood addition is one of the most complimented fragrances in my collection. It has a huge scent trail. I need to have it in autumn, winter, cooler weather. Actually, this perfume is still on my wrists after a hot, long shower. Uh, so, yeah. Old edition by Monto. The next fragrance on my tray is the reformulated Coromandel, and it's not as potent as I remember it to be, but it's that versatile French perfume, a unique blend of patchouli, earthy patchouli, together with um, creamy white chocolate accord. There's also orris root and jasmine. It opens up very fresh and sparkling um, with all those beautiful citruses. I appreciate that Chanel fragrances have their own DNA in all of their perfumes. Currently, this is the only Chanel perfume in my collection as I went through multiple bottles of Coco, Coco Mademoiselle, um, Cristal, so there was this missing puzzle piece in my perfume wardrobe and I'm happy to start wearing it. I have been craving chocolate in my fragrances lately. So like warm Maison du Parfum, Hatai comes handy as this fragrance really smells like a Mexican spicy hot chocolate with added booze in it. It's boozy, it's spicy, it leans a bit gourmand-ish, I would say. And yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of sweet, super sweet gourmand-ish perfumes. I have few in my collection, of course, uh, for days when I still crave something like that. But this is a perfume if you don't want to smell like a snack, but still you want something a bit savory, a bit gourmandish. It's a complex niche, smelling fragrance, mm, very French. The perfumer is Jean-Claude Delana, and as you may know, I have talked about him uh, multiple times. He creates very variable, airy, molecular fragrances that has that watercolor texture. The Grand Maison de Parfum is one of my favorite perfume houses in general. I have and I have had multiple fragrances from this house and I can really recommend you to try uh, their samples and they always have 
10 milliliter travel size bottles as well which on sale goes as low as 10 euros per bottle so this 10 milliliter bottle uh, was only 10 euros Hatai by Lequam is on the parfum let's continue with the same brand and another fragrance made by them is Portobello uh, yeah the interesting thing about Portobello is that it starts with leaning feminine and dries down as a masculine fragrance so it really is like an olfactory journey for you Portobello to me smells like a greenhouse in winter uh, there's very aromatic davana with a juicy orange and lots of resins in this fragrance one can really smell the petite grain uh, you know the leaves uh, the green leaves of a citrus tree um, yeah it's a beautiful composition okay who wants to be next um, let's take another new addition but it's actually a repurchase uh, as i went through a whole 100 milliliter bottle in 2022 and it's Rosendo Matteo number no. five and this is probably one of the most essential perfumes in my perfume wardrobe I think the perfumer has put something illegal in here as this is so intoxicating so sensual so attractive I made a bit uh, sarcastic YouTube shorts about uh, this particular fragrance as it smells to me like a Barbie skin as if you have opened the box of that Barbie doll um, there's this plasticky nuance that is very satisfying somehow plasticky but it doesn't smell cheap you know the vanilla here doesn't go into a cheap direction no no that's this is not the case yeah i missed this perfume so i repurchased it it seems like everyone on youtube is obsessed with cherry fragrances and one of the few cherry fragrances in my collection is tobacco and tonka bean by banana republic this is a very good cherry fragrance when you look at the scent pyramid on fragrantica it says plum pear tobacco coconut tonka bean and vanilla but this to me is a cherry fragrance my most favorite cherry fragrance is Duchessa by Gritti uh, but um, tobacco and tonka bean to me smells like a moist hookah cherry tobacco with uh, tonka beans tobacco here is just a nuance it's not the main player here at least to me I wish it would project better Mm, yeah the projection is low you need to really overspray it next up is a fruity niche fragrance made by Naomi Gutsir and it's Ordo Serei which in translation if I'm not mistaken means uh, the harem's gold and you know what this really smells abundant it's so dense so juicy syrupy the main players to my nose here are mango with a touch of tobacco rum beeswax the honey here is a bit animalic there's artemisia sage geranium labdanum which uh, grounds this perfume nicely you can really smell a dried mate tea accord which uh, somehow lifts the scent up this is such good fragrance you guys it's sweet it's fruity and unisex next on my tray is an oldie but goodie and it's obsession by Calvin Klein I don't know it just has a sentimental value for me this perfume smells like my grandparents house where I grew up obsession to me is all about resinous woods I get a picture of wood house, wood floors, fireplace. It's a vibe in a bottle for me. And in dark, gloomy days and cold evenings, I really crave something woody, something 
grounding, introspective kind of fragrance. I personally like to layer obsession with Montal Vanille Absolu, which is a um, sweet vanilla with cinnamon. So it blends magically with this perfume. Last but not least, from Ford Black Orchid uh, Parfum. And this fragrance, what I love about this is that yin-yang in it, that earthy, patchily with black truffles and the creaminess of ylang lang It's a boozy, creamy perfume, a very versatile, all year round favorite. You make a statement when entering the room, if you're wearing Tom Ford Black Orchid. Um, it's intriguing, uh, a bit poshy, city chic, and mysterious. Yeah, so this goes on to my February tray as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I see you on my next video. Bye.